Just <clears throat> letting you know how those bulbs I planted are doing. This is lettuce. I planted uh, some spring mix I got from Botanical Gardens. And whatever variety of lettuce it, this is, it's very tender. And it is quick growing because I've got two of those that popped up really tall while everything else is short. These bulbs, I don't know if you remember, I got a lot of bulbs on clearance. These are petticoat types. They're so cute. They're only um, three to five inches tall. Yeah. Five. Yeah. There's another one. And then the muscari are coming up. Pretty quick from when I planted them. They're just popping up. And these tulips I got in the grab bag. They are multi headed tulips look at all the tulips coming out of this one bulb and i'm seeing that over and over again so i thought oh these are huge tulips well little did i know that in fact they have lots of tulips in them how could i have known that and my freeze just hanging off the side and trailing this is a yucca it's being very artistic in the pot getting quite large this is my lilac. I hope it comes... I'm sorry, lavender. I hope my lavender comes back. Well, if not, these are lavender I can plant from seeds. So if it froze, I'll just plant some more. Um, this is the um, Hawaiian pomegranate that I got. I, I got two of these in a pack from Rare Seeds. And it didn't lose its leaves. It looks like it's trying to lose them now, but it doesn't know what to do see it's got the yellow leaves and then it's got the green leaves and here you can see the same thing here it didn't lose them it got taller and it has some of the old leaves but i'm just gonna let it do what it does there's some parsley growing in here peppers of course this was the year of the tulips so there's tulips everywhere from this grab bag and um these look like more regular tulips but I don't know until they till they grow. And we got carrots growing underneath them. So after they flower, the carrots should be coming up. And I don't mean I'm pulling them out. I mean that the carrots should come up and their leaves should cover the tulip. Old man here has decided to grow out of the pot and onto the ground. So he's not covering anybody this year. I did some trimming, but I... I keep on stepping on this part here, so that needs to be trimmed too. I just love the artistic shape of this, so I'm probably going to grow some beans on it so I can make it even more pronounced. Oh, and here's another little pepper plant growing. Yeah, I don't do all that extra with my pepper plants. I get food from them, but they aren't huge. They could be. They could be giants if I wanted them to, but I'm happy. And they're happy. And I'm eating more tulips. Um, the peas are coming up. I think these are Alaska peas. Yeah. They had them at the, at the Dollar Tree. The Shiseido survived the Arctic blast. And those are some Tazetta um, daffodils. The ones that most people grow in the house. I put some in the ground they've been spreading. I don't know if they're going to have enough light to flower. Because I don't see any flowers on them. And they've been going a while. But we'll see. Parsley's taking over the pot. This pot was... The sweet potato was taken over in the summer. And the sweet potato's still in there. I didn't pull it out. The freesias in this pot. You can see they are about to bloom. And I'm smelling the solata or it doesn't take many of those see that yellow and orange color it doesn't take many one or two like that fragrances my whole garden I'm very happy about it 
Um, very happy about the aloe vera there. See the aloe vera is doing good. Yes, please. Yes, please. I adore it. Mom's um, warming up some of my potatoes to go with a chicken. We got roasted at Walmart. So, you know, yeah. Sometimes you take the easy way out. Um, down here, this is the land is winter. This is the lettuce that was given away this year by Rare Seeds. They gave us these seeds. And this lettuce has done very good this year. More of those um, grab bag, I got see lots of double tulips. Lots and lots of doubles. Or, or triples sometimes. And I was wondering why those bones were so big, but now I understand. This little guy barely survived. It looks like I've got seeds on it. I think those are seeds. I'm always tossing new seeds out because when one plant gets old, the next plant has to come up. These are some onions. I'll put more onions in the pot as these get um, bigger. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. There's some peas in there too. I know they say you don't plant peas and onions, but my soil is so alkaline, it works fine. Here, the onions make the soil a little bit more acidic. There's carrots coming up. And radishes. Radishes aren't that quick in my area, so I have to look for them. My nasturtiums are flowering already. And it's only February, parsley. And there's some lettuce that I've been eating. That's the land is winter. I am planning to let these go to seed when their time comes, because they should have a good enough root system to be able to handle going to seed. And um, then I'll get some new land is winter seeds because I like it. Yeah, I like that lettuce, it works for me. Behind there are my sweet peas. They are, I know, putting on very, very deep roots, although they don't look like anything. The roots will be so deep at some point when they think it's the right time, they're just going to shoot up and cover everything. The Alaskas are already thinking it's time, so they're doing that already. Let's see. And there is my... Um, succulent i don't know what kind of succulent this is it's very different from everything i normally get but it's beautiful well god bless you i'll keep on doing these little mini tours for you